Hello wonderful people, welcome back to another productive video with Gracious right here being your host for today's episode. Thank you so much for staying tuned. In today's episode we'll be looking at the effects of uh, mascara on our ladies. Uh -huh. So this video is purposely for our ladies before, because they do makeup, men don't do makeup. Yeah. So this video is for you guys. Uh, we will be looking at the effect of mascara on the eye if it's not taking off after the day. Uh -huh. So without much ado, let's get into the video for you to watch and know what's going on. Now for most people who wear makeup, there's one golden rule. Always remove it before going to sleep. But it's a routine this ex-mum ignored and now she's paying the price. David Richardson explains. <laughs> For too long, this mother neglected this simple routine, properly removing her makeup, especially her mascara. It could have cost her her sight. It's a serious thing that you look at. Your eyes are your eyes. Wow, so it happened to this lady and then she's being interviewed and she's telling everybody how it happened. So let's You're not going to get another pair. Since she was a little girl... To Did you hear that? Your eye is your eye. The eyes you have, you will not have another pair if they go damaged. No. So you have to take good care of your eyes because it's the light to the body. The blind people are really suffering because they don't see what is around them. They are in total darkness. So take care of these precious two bulbs. Reza Lynch has barely gone a day without makeup. She'd never considered leaving the house incomplete. Putting it on was never a problem. Not taking it off would become a big one. Of course the makeup off the face was went, but leaving the mascara on my eyelashes was a very bad habit. Would you go to bed with your mascara still on? Yes, I did. Whoa. No matter how tired you are, remove the mascara. The ladies who go into makeup, make sure you remove it before you go to sleep. Because if you don't remove it, you'll be in a trouble. Yeah. Teresa had no idea leaving her waterproof mascara on continually was causing problems until her sight started acting up. My eyes were glassy all the time. The whites of my eyes were bloodshot. After I guess the 20 year period, I could feel that it was kind of scratching, scratching. I had already done the damage by then. 20 years. This is what. Whoa, look at that. Look at this. What was hurting her? Hundreds, if not thousands, of tiny grains of mascara embedded in the soft tissue of her inner eyelid. Hey, Charlie, Charlie, my ladies. Hey, hmm. Hey, hmm, Papa. Just take a look at that. The inner eyelid here. Here. The inner eyelid. Because she left it on when she goes to bed, particles of it drop when she is sleeping. Yeah. And they are, they are embedded into the, the, the inner eyelid. Just imagine. Even if a grain of sun poured on your eye, just look at how it feels. Hmm? Simple routine. Don't forget it. If you don't want trouble, don't go in for the makeup. Simple. All Theresa knew was something was there and it hurt. It was even more coarse than what I would say if you had sand in your eyes. With every blow, you're feeling this. It's that amazing amazing. In desperation for answers, she finally turned to a specialist as her eyesight got worse. In my career, I have never seen anything like this. Ophthalmologist Dr. Dana Robai couldn't believe what she was sick. Whoa. Mm. Thousands of them, tiny pieces, and they are waterproof too, so they, there's no way they would dissolve. It's, they are like glass particles. Hey! Hey! Mm. Basically hardened deposits of mascara, little pebbles of mascara that are deep in the eyelid but also eroding through the surface. Hundreds of them. It took two and a half hours of surgery to finally dig out the hundreds of small pieces of embedded makeup. Some pieces are still too deeply buried to be removed. But Teresa is lucky. It could have been so much worse. Long term with the scratches, if one of those scratches gets infected, she gets corneal scarring. That's permanent vision loss. It's a daily routine for wow. Miriam. 
So imagine she couldn't act earlier. She will be permanently blind. Just because of makeup. Keep your natural beauty, girls. Ladies, keep your natural beauty. Don't go for an extra one and it will cost you. And long-lasting waterproof mascara saves people having to reapply it every day. But it's more difficult to remove and in many cases, like Teresa's, people don't bother not realizing the potential damage they're doing to their eyes. Oh, that's why I'm speaking out now to let other girls be aware that... Yeah, so listen to this advice. I'll take it back for you to listen to this. The ladies. Oh, that's why I'm speaking out now to let other girls be aware that when you're young, it's when it starts. And, you know, you pay the consequences when you get my age not knowing the damage that you're doing. Six months post-surgery and Teresa's eyes have now returned to normal. Her story, a valuable lesson to anyone who wears makeup. You pay the price down the end of the track and it may not be pretty. I was lucky. You pay the price down the end of the track. It may not be pretty. She is lucky. You may not be lucky. So be careful when putting on makeup, especially the mascara. If you like putting it on, I'm not saying don't put it on. Make sure you take it off before you go to sleep. Make sure you take it off before you go to bed. That's a simple routine as ABC. Take it off before you go to bed. No laziness. Save yourself. Save your eye. Thank you so much for staying tuned for this episode too. Hit the like button, subscribe, share for other ladies to also have uh, a gist of it so in today's episode gracious is my name and i am your host for today's episode thank you so much peace out shalom bye bye